Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through everything you need to know about the league club coaches in the Indigo Disc. So once you've defeated the Blueberry Academy League and you're into the post game, when you come into the league club room, you'll have access to a new facility on the league club computer. The two lists, when you come into the computer here, it is contribute Blueberry points or call a special coach. Now calling a special coach will give you the ability to invite trainers that you've met in the Paldea region to the Blueberry Academy. When you come into this facility for the first time, you're gonna have access to all eight gym leaders from the Paldea region. And for the cost of 200 Blueberry points, you can invite them to the Blueberry Academy. When any one of these trainers that you invite arrives in the league club, you'll be able to interact with them. Now don't invite a trainer and then not interact with them before inviting another one. This is really important not to waste points because because each of these trainers will have two memories to unlock. You'll need to invite each of these trainers three times. And upon the first time you invite them to the league club room, they'll thank you for inviting them. They'll talk about their experiences and how they can help you teach in the Blueberry Academy. And they'll also challenge you to a battle. Now, these battles aren't mandatory. You don't have to do them. But if you do complete a battle with them and defeat them, you'll be given a specific reward that's tied to that trainer. Now to complete each of these trainers, you're going to have to invite them a total of three times to the club room, interacting with them each time you invite them. And like we've mentioned, each of these trainers will have two memories to unlock. So out of these three invites that you give them after each and every time they visit the club room and you interact with them. On the third time that you invite any one of these trainers, they will also offer you a trade for one of their Pokemon. Now you can trade any Pokemon for the specific Pokemon that you're going to get from these trainers, but it has to be from the OT of the game that you're playing. You can't trade Pokemon that you've transferred in from Pokemon Home. It has to be something that you've caught in the copy of the game that you're playing. But as long as the OT criteria is met, you'll be able to trade them anything in your boxes for the gift Pokemon that they're providing. And the nice thing about all of the Pokemon that you do receive from these trainers once you meet the criteria is they will all have a special partner ribbon, which is a brand new ribbon awarded to a Pokemon that was once partnered with another great trainer. So when you throw these Pokemon out in a battle, you'll get the name of the trainer that they belong to. So it would be Katie's Combi or Brassia's Sunflora and so on and so on. Now, there are a total of 23 club coaches available. 20 of them are only available in game right now. You're going to start off with eight, like we say, the original eight gym leaders from Paldea. But to unlock the remaining 12 trainers, you're going to have to fulfill certain requirements. Now, a lot of the other trainers that you will be able to unlock through this facility, you will have to have first complete all of the classes and the befriending quests at the Academy for a lot of these characters. If you haven't done that at the Academy, You'll need to go back there first before they are available in this club room. So firstly, to unlock Clavel, Jacques, Ryfort, Time, Salvatore, Dendra, Hassel, Sawero, and Miriam. These nine trainers can be unlocked when you've achieved two or three gold statuses on your initial eight gym leaders. What I mean by the gold status is when you've interacted with them three times and you've traded them a Pokemon. If you come back to the call a special coach screen on the computer, you'll see a gold ring around that specific gym leader. That means you've complete all of the tasks for this character. But like I say, it's between two or three because I actually had Katie complete but when I complete Brassius and Iona at the same time that unlocked the remaining nine trainers that we've just covered so why I say it might be two or it might be three so just bear in mind that you need to complete all of the befriending quests at the academy for these trainers before you're able to unlock them once you've befriended everyone and done all of the classes at the academy, then you can complete two to three of the gym leaders, get that gold status on them, and that should unlock these nine trainers. Now, there are three remaining trainers that we have access to. There is Rika and Poppy. You'll be able to unlock those by getting gold interactions with Larry and Iona. Once you've done that, these trainers will be unlocked. And then the final one that we have access to is going to be Gita. And Gita becomes available once you've obtained gold status on all of the eight gym leaders. That's when Gita will be available. Now, if you do decide to go into battle with these trainers, you can obviously rebattle them at any point afterwards by inviting them back, even if you've complete that gold status. 
but if you do battle them and defeat them for the first time, they'll all give you special rewards. Katie will give you three Herba Mysticas, Brassius will give you a Surrendering Sunflora case, Iona will give you an Iona Zone case. For your Rotom phone, you'll get three Spicy Herba Mystica from Kofu, three Salty Herba Mystica from Larry, you'll get a pair of Gold Sneakers from Rhyme, you'll get this Staff Berry from Tulip, you'll get five Carbos from Grusha, you'll get an Ability Patch from Rika, ten Rare Candies from Poppy, You'll get the Clive wig from the Team Star Quest from Clavel. You'll get hexagonal glasses from Jacques. You'll get a Comet Shard from Ryfort. You'll get three Bitter Herba Mystica from Time. You'll get PP Ups from Salvador. you get five Protein from Dendra. From Hassel, you'll get the Move to Tears emote, which is actually quite a fun one. You get three Sal Herba Mystica from Saguero and the II Captain emote from Mirian, and you will finally get the Elite Gloves from Gita. These are all the rewards from beating these trainers the first time you invite them and battle them in the Blueberry Academy. You will be able to rebattle them at any point when you do invite them back into the club room but the rewards will not be the same as they were the first time around. So you're not going to be able to farm for Herba Mystica or anything like that. You will get things like level up candies and stuff like that. So unless you really want to battle them, don't do it for the rewards. So like I said, to invite every one of these trainers, it costs 200 Blueberry points per time. So completing one trainer costs 600 Blueberry points. So to complete the entire collection that are available right now, it's going to cost you 12,000 Blueberry points. So just make sure if you're coming in to do this all in one go, you've got that amount of Blueberry points. That's going to allow you to invite every one of these 20 trainers three times, battle them, trade them their Pokemon as well, and complete this section that we have available. Now the other bonus quest that you're going to be able to complete through doing this side quest is the battle with a secret boss. If you come into the League Room computer and you look down the list, there will be a 10 Blueberry Point cost for battle with a secret boss. Now this, when you initially come in, will not be available. What I did to be able to unlock this was achieve the gold status on 10 of these trainers. Once I did that, this facility became unlocked. Doing all eight gym leaders and then I did Rika and Poppy and then I was able to unlock this facility. Now, according to Cerebi, you only need to do a total of 18 interactions. So that might work out a lot quicker, but I only tested this function after completing the gold status on 10 of these trainers. So trading 10 Pokemon with the trainers that are available through this function. And then this became available. Now, when you go into this, it costs 10 Blueberry points. And yes, this is a little bit of a spoiler if you don't want to see it. But for those of you that are interested, it is Cyrano and you go in to battle him. Make sure you've got a team prepared before you unlock this function though because you go straight into the battle. His team isn't too difficult at all. If you've got a team that's put together and you've beat the Blueberry Academy with, you're going to have probably no problem with this one. I ran through Serana pretty easily with my Roaring Moon and Flutter main combination. I didn't uh, have any issues at all. But once you beat Serano, you come out of this, he'll give you a reward of three Comet Shards. And yeah, you think that's not a very good reward. He kind of backtracks on this and then offers to trade you a Pokemon as well. And this is one of the best gifts that you're going to get from the traded Pokemon using this facility because he trades you over a shiny Blitzel, which is amazing that you get a shiny Pokemon as a gift. And it's got the partner mark as well to boot. So it's a very nice gift pokemon that's definitely worth getting in your games you can rebattle Cyrano after this first interaction and you've received the blitzel but for every time you do beat him after this you're only going to receive three large candies so again it's not really worth the blueberry points or your time to rebattle them after that first interaction now the pokemon that you're going to receive from all of these trainers you are going to receive a combi from katie you're going to receive a sunflora from brassius you're going to receive a magnemite from Iona, Evaluza from Kofu, Dunsparce from Larry, Time will send you a Graveyard, Tulip will send you a Flittle, and Grusha will send you a Satoddle. Poppy will send you over a Tinkertuff, and Rika will send you over a Wooper, Jack will send you over a Gulpin, and Clavel will send you over a Pomo. You're going to receive a Rockruff from Time, a Gimme Ghoul Chest Form from Ryfort, and a Lolan Meowth from Salvatore, Dendro will send you over a Meditite, Sagrero will send you over a Hatrem, 
You're going to get an Archibax from Hassel. Miriam will send you over a Marini. And Gita will send you over a Glimit that she caught in Area 0. And there is a bonus as well. If you do all of the side stories and unlocking all the memories, along with this, you're going to get Drayton's memories and his interactions with a lot of trainers along the way. And once you've complete this side quest, you're going to actually unlock as well a Duraludon. So after enough interactions where you've complete all of these trainers that are available, the 20 in the league room, and you interact with Drayton and once again, you've battled them as well. He will offer you a trade for a Duraludon and this is Drayton's Duraludon. It has got an electric terror type as well and of course it will have the partner ribbon attached to it. So whenever you send it out in battle it will be Drayton's Duraludon that you send out. So you can evolve this into Arcaludon and you're going to be able to have Drayton's Arcaludon when you go into battle with it as well. And of course on top of that you're going to have the Blitzel that Cyrano sent you over and that is going to be the shiny Blitzel which is going to be a really nice reward as well to get from these events. So as you can see here, these are the Pokemon that you're getting sent over. And it's a really nice side quest to be able to do to unlock them in your games. Now, the only issue is now we've got three trainers remaining out of everything that is available from this quest. I've done a lot of things in game to try and unlock these, but it appears as though these three trainers remaining to make up 23 coaches in total are going to be locked until we get access to future game content that is not available yet. So we'll have to wait and see when that becomes available. Hopefully not too long. But um, if you've been keeping up with data mine stuff and leaks and things like that, you'll probably have a good idea about what event that is in game. If you don't, it's probably worth just staying away from that sort of thing so you don't spoil this event when it does drop in game. Hopefully, like I say, it won't be too soon. But that is everything for today's video. That's all the information that you're going to need to be able to unlock all 20 trainers that are available in the club room as well as all the rewards you get from battling as well as the pokemon that they trade you over and that bonus secret boss quest that you've got in the club room computer as well when you contribute some blueberry points to the blueberry academy so i hope you have a lot of fun in this side quest it is a lot of fun there is a lot of good interactions between the trainers you get some good information on backstories i'm not going to go into details here because i feel like it will spoil some things and it's nice for you to experience it yourself i hope you found it useful friends all of this information good luck unlocking the trainers getting these special gift pokemon if you have please drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scholar and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye